Hey guys, Reba Hodge here at Oregon Health and Science University, working with Foundations of VM and Andrew Perrot out of University of Kansas and Kristen Gray Bowmore down at Emory University. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the Miller Blade. Um, so in case you missed last month's videos, we already talked about the Mac Blade. Um, and so now we're talking about your alternative to Miller, which is the straight blade. Um, looks like an L, Mac blade, shaped kind of like a C, as we went over last month. Uh, we're going to talk about placement, view, how to choose a size. Um, and so last time we talked about Mac blades, we talked about measuring from the hyoid bone up to the lip. Same thing applies for the Miller blade. You're going to measure the end of your Miller blade from their hyoid bone up to their lip. And so for this gentleman, a Miller three is actually plenty. Um, you can see that a Miller four would be quite long. And you may actually put this whole blade in there accidentally a little aggressively and you're gonna obstruct your view if you use too big of a blade. Um, again, using DL right now, in case you guys aren't familiar, these are the handles and the blades that are going to come in most of your emergency airway kits on the floor if you don't have a glide scope. So I encourage you to know how to set these up. So you can see when it's folded down, it's attached to that little bar back there. When it's folded up, your light comes on the end. Same thing applies with this guy. The blade is made for sweeping the tongue out of the way. So when you put it in the patient's mouth, you want to be over to their right hand side. Sweep the tongue over to the midline. Get it out of your way on this side so that you can see and you can also pass your ET tube. This center of the Miller blade looks like it would be great to put your ET tube down and go directly where you want it to go. But if you put it down the center of the blade, similar to our Mac blades last month, it's going to completely obstruct your view. And so same thing, I'm going to go in and sweep my tongue from right to center. I'm going to lift up the epiglottis and get a great view of the cords. I'm going to come in the right side of the mouth and then angle it towards the center to deliver it right through the vocal cords. And we'll show you guys a great view of that on the glide scope in just a second. 